this video, you will witness the journey me and my colleagues have been through in taking a ship to her maiden voyage. Going back two months ago, where we left Manila bound for Tokyo, where in Haneda International Airport, we got swab tested and fortunately, we tested negative. After the airport, we stayed in a hotel for 14 days where our company gave us pocket money because they would only pay for the breakfast at the hotel. That meant living off with Japan's convenience store foods. For me, that was convenient because I worked around with what pocket money I had left for this. After 14 days in a hotel in Tokyo, we were fetched and brought to Tokyo Station where we were given a train ticket bound for Hakata. It was a 5 hour train ride and it showed us another side of Japan besides the metro area of Tokyo. Upon arriving at Hakata Station, we were greeted by our agent who again drove us for 2 hours into another hotel near the shipyard where our ship is waiting for us. From that day, every morning from 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock in the afternoon, we would go from our hotel to the shipyard office and eventually to the ship. So what did we do upon going on board our ship? Three words. Stores, stencils, and stickers. As far as consumables and spares go, the ship is as empty as it could get. Pallets after pallets of stores, provisions, and spares came from the yard into our ship. For two days, we received everything we needed for our maiden voyage. After everything was landed on the ship's deck, the following days were focused on arranging the received stores into their respective places. From rags, to chemicals, to ship's spares, everything was secured indoors. Apart from receiving and arranging our stores, we also had to prepare for our inspection, which was scheduled a day before we leave for our maiden voyage. Upon locating our stencil plates and IMO stickers, we head out and mark the critical areas that can be a possible observation. I was tasked to put on this IMO signs. And basically, I will put all the IMO signs, IMO stickers here in the engine room. What I'm gonna do is to, to check on the fire plan, on the position of the symbols, and then that's where, and then I look for the respective stickers, and then that's where I put it. For a few days, receiving and arranging our stores and preparing for an inspection were our everyday work. But then, COVID hit our shipyard. On a Sunday morning while eating our breakfast, the superintendent in charge told us that two dock workers were infected. We did not go to work that day and also the following day because they were busy sanitizing and disinfecting our ship. And also, they were tracing who did those two dock workers been in contact with. Monday came and they informed us that 25 dock workers were already infected. Then on Tuesday, we proceeded to the yard hospital to be tested and fortunately, we tested negative. After testing negative, we returned to our normal routine and after a few days, we embarked the ship with our luggage. There was supposed to be a vessel naming ceremony but because of this pandemic it was only attended by a few people us not included the day after we embarked 
we set sail for our maiden voyage. <laughs>